One of the biggest questions we hear as art teachers is how much water do you use when you are painting with watercolor? There are a couple different things that you can do. A spray bottle is super helpful with wetting your watercolors. I like to use a small spray bottle. Mine that I have is from an actual watercolor company. So it's made for watercolors and it will last a long time. I always use two water cups, one to get my watercolors wet with and one to wash my brush with. And always make sure that you have a paper towel, an absorbent paper towel, so you can fold it and blot off the water if you get too much water. How much water you use depends on how dark or light you want your paint to be. You can always layer your paint. You can absolutely wait for your watercolor to dry and then do another layer over top of it if it's not dark enough, or you can just add in more paint and less water. I kind of like to go with the 50-50 rule. Add 50% water and just 50% paint, which is just like a drop or so, and then just see where you go from there. The best way to get the hang of this, because it's different from for every person, is to make a value scale. So practice making a dark version of the same color all the way up to the very lightest version of the same color. Another fun practice activity that you can do is try to blend two colors together in the quickest and easiest way possible. Grab two colors, any two colors, and make yourself a little square of water and try dropping colors in until they blend together. Try not overworking the paper. So if your paper is starting to peel up or it's starting to kind of look weird or textured, then you're overworking the paper. Your brush should barely touch the paper. It should be really soft and gentle and gently mix those colors. You can drop in more color as you like and then just let it dry and see what happens. You can get some really interesting effects. I will go more into blending colors and gradients in the next lesson, but for now, just play around and see what happens.